What's up loves? It's your girl. So this video is going to be like a first impression slash kind of like really not even a first impression. I don't even know why I'm lying. I just wanted to show you guys some things that I did get um for just video reviews to do. Also some things that I did buy which is like I'm really excited about this one particular product. So I was watching one of my favorite YouTubers which is Miss Passion Jones and I have known her so long from YouTube and she is just a delightful person and if you guys have not heard of her, I definitely would suggest that you check her YouTube channel out. She is so body positive and she's just like a really sweet person. Um, we have collaborated like years and years ago um, for my first channel and I love her. So she just came out with this amazing highlighter line. Highlight, you know, and I didn't even have any highlight on because I wanted to show you guys on like without any highlight on my face. I will definitely apply her website below and apply this on your cheekbones, collarbones, and everywhere else where you want to glow. Her highlight line line is called Glonista and she has four colors in the line. When I seen her video I went ahead and purchased all four. Guys, it's very affordable. They are $10 a piece and the packaging is so pretty. Everything is like this gold, just gold theme. This is her diamond glow, her diamond setting spray. Uh, when you shake it up you do see like reflects of diamonds in it, like little sparkles of diamonds in it. I like to use it before and after and you don't have to use it to set your makeup. You can also use it to like have your face have this dewy glow look. So so definitely check it out. So like I said, all of the packaging is gold and you do get a nice size amount of Glonista highlight powder. So this is the loose powder, which is a lot easier to use. I like both. I like the glow. Um, I like the loose and I also do like, like, you know, the regular like pressed powder or what have you. But I do like the fact that it's all loose and I like the packaging a lot. So each one does come with a sifter on it and it's also a sticker over it, which is great. So you're not losing any product. And this one here is called the 24 karat glow. Do you guys see this 24 karat gold? This is so pretty. Now by the time I'm finished with this, I'm going to look just like an out of space galactic, like this glowy glonista. Glonista. This is the one that's actually called Glonista. And this is just a little bit lighter. But I think like this one is my favorite one because I love colors that are like really light like this. But I do like this 24 karat, okay? I think like the 24 karat will look amazing like on all skin tones. But I think like they all will. So this is Glonista. Do you guys see how pigmented that is? Like, oh my god. That is like really like, dang. This is like the glow, for real. That's like what you call a glow. Do you guys see your reflection? So pigmented, so pretty. It's bright and bougie, which to me is like a, I would say like a champagne-ish color. This one is really pretty too, though. I don't know now because this one could be like my favorite one as well. Look at that. Isn't this like pretty? That's pretty too. Wow. That's a lot of glow right there. I'm going to delve down the 24 karat. And this is bright and bougie and it's very bright. I think I would call this like a champagne between a champagne and like a really pretty light pink color. Of course you're not going to put it on like this but I do like this color a lot. It's very pretty and it's something I think this is the color that I would probably wear the most of because I like anything that has like the pink colors in it or what have you and as you guys can see it holds up really well to just any type of wetness. You wet it, it just makes it look a lot different, like metallic, like. So this is Rose Glow. And here, that one goes right here. And it's a little bit deeper in color. But then we're gonna put this one on, let's see. We're gonna put this one on the forehead because, or the nose, better yet.
you know what? I think I look like the Tin Man right about now. Like, for real though, I like this glow because I'm like glowing all over, so I'm saying. This is like a lot of glow, and it's a lot of glow. So yes, congratulations, Passion. I definitely wanted to show her stuff first. Really do like it, um, especially because you know what? This is all on her own, and who don't like a good highlight? Like for real, these colors are so pretty and light and vibrant and well pigmented, and I like the fact that they're loose powders. Plus, they're really affordable. You're not going overhead price like with forty and fifty dollars, ten dollars for each one, and there's four in the collection so far. I'm pretty sure she comes. She'll come out with some new ones or some other colors. But for the beginning, these are amazing. I I love the packaging, but I also like the fact that you get a lot of product and you get a lot of good product for 10 bucks. So, yes, honey, be a glow nista. You are officially a glow nista. I like to glow, okay? I do like to glow. And let me know which one you guys like the most in the um in the video link. I'll post all of them down below so that way you guys can check them out, but definitely check her website out. I love a good like glow and my daughter Tati likes like highlight too, so um, well, I was gonna give her one, but I don't know now. I might just have to buy her own. Don't tell her I said that though. Okay. As you guys know, I did show you guys this brush, which is from this company called Juno and Company. It is a website where all beauty products are starting at a dollar. I said they're starting at a dollar. I didn't say they were all a dollar, but there are some things that are starting at a dollar. You might find like a makeup brush or two. Also, they do have eyelashes on their website as well. I did check them out. They do have some really nice eyelashes. However, the only thing that I really wasn't too fond of is it's two eyelashes per person. So two in that. So say you wanted the April collection, you could only buy two and if you wanted the passion collection you could only buy two so I don't really like the fact that you're limited to two how, how many eyelashes you can buy because they're a dollar I'm pretty sure that people would want to stock up and purchase more than one or two pair of lashes so I mean like there's other websites that you can definitely get a lot of lashes and there's no limitation and plus there's a lot more selection but for the most part I will tell you this I would definitely purchase their makeup brushes so they did send me out a PR package Juno and company all beauty products beauty products starting at a dollar and I did feature them on my real talk video because I was just doing my makeup and I did like the packaging a lot it just says hello gorgeous on the inside of the box and some black paper they do have some really nice affordable palettes on their website like for eyeshadows so the makeup brushes that they sent to me were super affordable plus I did like the quality of them they were made so well and I did use them in my real talk video so that is the reason why they are a little dirty right now but they do all have numbers on them so this is the kind contour brush which is the ES05 and it's a very dense brush and I loved it it does pick up a lot of product so you want to make sure that you're very careful don't be heavy-handed with it because I was and I was like whoops the, the quality of it is really well also um, it's awesome the sealer or foundation brush which is the ES01 is also a dense brush um, you can get a really great foundation with this. I use this for the concealer on my eyelids, and it did pack a punch. It did blend in really well. I didn't have to keep constantly blending it in, but I do like this one a lot as well. I do like the colors and the softness of the brushes, and like I said, they're very inexpensive. The eyeshadow brush, which I also did use, you can get a nice amount of eyeshadow on your lids with this little brush right here. And I think this was like a dollar or two, if I'm not mistaken. I'm your fan jumbo brush. This one was two dollars, and this is the ES04. I do like fan brushes. The bigger brushes, the jumbo fan brushes, I think are amazing for contouring. The powder brush, which is great. I did use this to apply my foundation or my pressed powder on my face, which was the um, the MAC um, Fix Plus in N42 and NC42, and I did like that as well. I'm trying to shine down a little bit here because, I, but I don't want to blind you guys throughout this video, but I do like this highlight a lot. It's giving me like that really pretty dewy wet kind of look, which is so sexy, like, yes, hunty, yes. ES03, which is a really cute brush. Um, this is probably like for contouring too, like your chisel and your cheeks out, which I haven't used this one. As you guys can see, it's still clean, but I will give it a chance. Um, I'll probably try it out tomorrow when I do a couple more videos, so I'll definitely do my makeup with this one. And then the last item that was in the box, which I thought was so like different, is their Fusion um, Beauty Blender Sponge or Juno Fusion Sponge. Now this is so different. I did use this. Now this is more or less like a velvet lore. I call it velvet lore. It's velvet and velour mixed together. That's what I call it. 
it's like a velvet type of finish um, sponge it doesn't have like the silicone it doesn't have like the regular sponge look it has like these tiny little hairs on it so it really reminds me of crush velvet it does soak up water on it and it also is great for just dry products as well um, when I first used it in my real talk I did leave kind of like wet marks on my face especially for under here so I don't really like to use this for everything and I think it has a lot to do with just the fibers of the actual beauty blender so to me it works well for certain things not for everything so you can definitely check them out Juno and company um, a Juno and Co I'll post the information below where all the beauty products start at a dollar one of my favorite new setting sprays which I love anything that smells really really good is the Gerard Cosmetics this one right here smells so good okay I think there's like four different scents in the collection actually there are five different products um, for setting spray this stuff smells amazing this is their slay all day setting spray and the flavor or the scent that I chose was peach let me tell you guys it does work really well like I use this and it gave me like this kind of like dewy look you can spray it before or after your makeup application just to keep your face fresh and flawless I did spray it before and I also sprayed it after and it smells good it smells like peach body spray but it's for your face so you know you can go around and spritz your face and it smells so good Ugh. This stuff smells so good. So it does work. And I like the fact that it gives me kind of like a light dewy look. But also that I smell like peaches. So you know if you spray yourself down. And you with your man or your girl. Whoever. They be like oh your face smells really good. <sighs> Kiss it up. But this stuff does smell good. So you might want to keep spraying it on yourself. But. You will slay all day wearing this. I, I will say this did help me a lot with my makeup. But also the scent is just like so like... It just smells so good. I would definitely highly suggest trying this one out. And I did get this from Oxley. So, you know, if you guys are interested in getting free products, you can definitely check out Oxley. I'll post the information below. They have some really great products like this one right here, which is by Lancome. And I did feature this in a Get Ready With Me video. Um, but I do like this a lot. This is the Dual Finish Highlighter. This is in Radiant Rose Gold. Now, I will be honest to tell you, it is not as potent and vibrant and pigmented as as Glonista. This is more or less like a, uh, a highlight if you want something a little bit more um I don't want to say conservative because being conservative does not mean you don't have to glow. But if you're not one of those who are really, really bold with the highlight, then this may work for you. This might be kind of like um just like I'm just I just want to be like I just want to look natural. If you want to have that natural glow, then you can, you know, this would probably work for you. Now, as you guys see, it's not as vibrant and pigmented as Glonista, okay? But I do like it. It gives me, like, that natural look when I don't really want to look like I have on too much makeup, but I want that natural glow. And this was also available at Octoly.com. Also, I did get another highlight from the Becca Cosmetics, which is also available on Octoly. And this one is more like a trio. This is the Gradient Glow. And I did feature this one in a video of makeup now um do i like it it's a nice it's a nice selection it's a nice you know highlight to add to your collection but is the glow like really there i don't think so and i think it's because they're all kind of like mixed together i think you have champagne pop and then you have this other one here that i have but i just can't remember the name of it sunrise i think it's called um but i think like champagne pop i have a bunch of their highlights and i think champagne pop has always been my favorite and they're not as vibrant as you, you see that guys they're not as vibrant as the champagne pops these are more or less like very earthy very neutral natural looks so if you're not trying to glow like that then honey this probably will work for you but it's not like a very glowy glowy like high intense type of highlight um so i'm saying if you're looking for like that really like out of this world type of highlight then you might want to head on over to glonista and you'll pay less and you'll have so much more of a glow so i also did get the becca um soft light blurring powder this stuff i have tried so many different setting powders lately um and it seems like the more expensive ones seem to like work the best for me because it doesn't give me like that crazy chalky look i like the packaging but it is like a pink color and i also did use this in my real talk video um if i had to compare the two which was the becca cosmetics and then the givenchy one i would definitely say the givenchy one in purple like a lilac was my favorite this one for me was better than the 
Becca one. This kind of gave me almost kind of like a chalky kind of like look. I really had to dull this down and I didn't put a lot, but I mean, I think it has a lot to do with your skin tone to wear this one. Um, it is a blurry powder. Um, it is a setting powder, but for me, it was very bright and it kind of made me a fear it kind of made me feel like I was gonna have like some flashback but it also kind of made me look a little bit chalky so I mean it all depends on you as a person I didn't bake with it because of the color and I really didn't want to bake with it now to bake I would definitely use this one right here which is the Givenchy this is their trial size and this is the um, uh, Prasim, um Mousseline pastel and this is a purple color I like the fact that it's travel size but you can just twist the top off and it has a sifter top and there you go and I use this also in a video of mine and this one like this has a better like you know transformation as a setting powder versus the Becca one to me this one I use a lot the Becca one on the top is a lot more brighter and it kinda is a little bit more powder powderer powderier for me um, but I do like the Givenchy one a whole lot better also, Issey Laurent, I did get some more items from Issey Laurent, and I did feature them in my video of Real Talk, but I really wasn't doing my makeup as a tutorial, I was just doing my Real Talk video. I will say this is like one of my new favorite products from them, and this is the Glow Shot. Okay, first of all, it's a Glow Shot. At first I thought this was um, like a lip gloss, but it's actually highlight. And the reason why I like this one so much, this is in the color Rose, um, Sunrise, excuse me. Let me tell you. The reason why I like this so much is because it'll give me like that glow, but not like that high intense type of glow, and it smells amazing, so you can carry this around with you in your purse. Of course it is like a cream, okay, but I like this because it gives me like a neutral glow, okay. It just smells so good, but the key to using this one is you have to use like a really dense brush but it gives you like the most natural looking glow also oh man and this one was also available on Oxley and the other favorite product by them which I am loving right now I, I use it for multiple things this is their duo um, eye, eye duo smoker and this is the smoky brown number three so this is just for your eyes so it's supposed to be but I like it for everything okay so I do use it for highlighting as well so this color right here at the end is like that very champagne kind of like color and let me tell y'all I have used this right here right here right here like I really like this a lot and then the other side is like this very chocolate brown which is just as pretty but I don't really use that side a lot so I will use it just to kind of like bring out my eyes a little bit. Everybody can't see that too well because I have on so much shine right now. Okay, so like I use this for everything. I'm sorry, I'm, but I just think it's worthy of it. Like when I first got it, I was like, oh. But then when I use it, I was like, ooh, like, this is so, like, I don't know. I really do like this eye duo, like, for real. Like, the brown color is great, too, because you don't have to do, like, a lot of different looks. But I'm not going to show you the brown right now. But I will definitely swatch them. So, not this color here, but this, these two right here. This is, like, a very nice, neutral, smoky kind of, like, look. You can carry this around with you. If you don't want to pack too much, then this is all you need. Like, all you need... Well, not really all you need, but you know, you can highlight with this. You can do your eyes with this. So you might need a couple more things after that, but you know. I also did get the Issey Laurent All Hours Concealer. It's a light color, and I do like. It. I don't. Okay, so I don't use it every single day um, because I just don't. But it does work. I do use other concealers on top of it. That's a little bit more yellowish tone because of my skin tone. I like to do my eyelids with it. I do like their packaging a lot. Everything is gold. Everything is gold. Gold, gold, gold. And this is as well came from Octoly. I do have the second collection to the Issey Laurent Black Opium. So a few weeks ago, I did show the Black Opium. And this is like the collection, collection limit edition bottle. This has sparkles on it. Though the other bottle did come with 
sparkles as well. This one right here also has some sparkles on it. Very pretty bottle. This is a little bit smaller than what I have and they smell so good. For one, for some reason I just thought that this would have a different scent. I do like this black opium by Issa Laurent and it's like the right size for traveling and smelling good. So Issa Laurent's black opium is like amazing. Last item from Octoly was the palette by Pure. I was excited to get this because it's very neutral colors. This one here is the Etienne Ortega palette and I did show this on my um, Real Talk. The mirror is like really nice size but I don't want to blind you with the ring light with it. Um, But I'm going to just be honest. I really wasn't too impressed with this palette. Maybe if I used like a different eyeshadow base, you would have been able to see it a lot more. Um, the color to me was um, not as vibrant as it is right now. You know what I mean? So like when I used it um, on camera, I had like a darker colored eyeshadow base on, more or less a color of my skin tone. And for these, I think you would be better off like using like an eyeshadow that was more eyeshadow base that was a lot lighter to intensify the colors but they are some very pretty neutral colors so you do get 18 colors in this palette you know I will retract my thoughts of this um, palette the first time it is a nice palette um but you do have to wear like the right eyeshadow base and what I had on was like this um, tan color eyeshadow I do make some really nice makeup and I do like the size of this mirror it's like the size half the size of the palette which is great because I hate when you get a palette and the shadows are like so the, the mirrors are so small yeah you know? so also on this list to do list are you know is some Avon products now I haven't done Avon in so long Avon has been around for a century and I'm probably exaggerating because they haven't but I remember my mom used to sell Avon back in the days and she would have all these little lipstick samples you guys remember that um if you're my age you definitely will remember it, it had these little tiny lipsticks and they would look they look like lipsticks but they were small they were samples I loved them she would always have them and I absolutely loved them so one of my friends, she does sell Avon, and she sent me a few things. I'm not big on polishing my nails. You guys know that. If I don't go get them done, then they're, they're not getting done. So this right here is the Gel Finish Top Coat Lacquer um, Polish. So of course I haven't used it, and it's clear, thank goodness, because, all right, everybody can use some good clear nail polish. I'll probably end up giving this to Tati because she likes to keep her nails done. She did send me a couple of things of lipstick. So this color that she sent me seems like it's a very dark color. This color is called Vamp. So this is like a deep plum purple color. Anything. I think this one is more or less a brown color. Oh, whoa. This is definitely not a color that I would wear. And it's a red. It's like a very deep red color. Um, off camera, it's kind of like appearing bright, but it is more or less like a burgundy-ish red color. She also sent me two things of perfume, his and hers, which is the Luck brand for her and the Luck brand for him, which was really nice and thoughtful. So for the young ladies, for the women, I'm going to show you the packaging. It's a little bow. It's cute. Um, the perfume is like a really dark color. It reminds me of like cognac. Um, um, to be honest, not one of my favorite scents. I don't really, yeah. I don't know. I don't really like the smell of this. You know what this perfume reminds me of when I used to really like it as a kid? And I don't know why I liked this as a kid, but as a teenager, my mom bought this for me. And if you was to buy me that perfume today, I would probably smack you. Taboo. Remember that cheap perfume called Taboo? I used to love that. I don't know why, but I used to love the smell of that. And this is what it reminds me of. It just smells, I don't know, like, it smells like a cheap perfume. Um, Avon does have some really nice scents and this one right here is not one of them so I would I would not get that perfume um, as for the one for men I'm gonna smell it because I'm gonna give this to my son Wuzzle um, you know he likes to smell good for the girls but I gotta make sure he smells good for the girls so the, pa the packaging for men is really chic I like this um, let me switch that off let's see 
The men one smells like it's gonna smell good. The men one smells really good. This smells like something else that my husband had. This smells good. Guys, this was also the very last item from Oxley. Now you guys, I've heard a lot of people ask me how do I keep my skin so fresh and clean. I like to use different products. I definitely clean my face every night. I don't just splash water on it. There are some days when I kind of like de um, detox my skin. I don't wear makeup every single day. Um, so I thought I would give this a try. This is the Brilliant Skin. De um, detoxify and brighten and it makes your skin look really really healthy it's a purifying clay mask and it does come with this cute little brush now I have not used this one as of yet but I've heard nothing but good things okay and I like to hear good things alright I really really do so you want to um, definitely put this on your face for like 10 minutes I like masks okay I do like masks especially if they're like masks that get hard on your face I, I like the paper masks too that be in the bags but I'm not like a huge fan of those for some reason I'm definitely not um so but I did use this as a matter of fact I did use this because I'm like why does it look a mess like this inside I did actually use this but I didn't use it with this brush because I don't know um I've never used a brush to apply clay mask on my face so I didn't use it with the brush I just used it with my hands and I'm like why does it have fingerprints in it because I did use this once and it does get hard pretty fast but it does make your face look pure and clean also it's really easy to wash off this did actually um, come out nice my skin was like really bright um, but you do need to make sure that you wash your face first. You have to wash the makeup off your face. So prior to using this, I did wash my face. Um, I did take my makeup off and I did not wash my face with my Soap and Glory um, face wash. Now I don't use this, I don't use clay mask on a normal basis, but I do clean my face the same way every night. I only use these like once or twice a week, but it will have your face looking bright and cleaner. And I will tell you this, it reminds me a lot of like the Noxzema. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a video on this, like a unready with me, instead of getting ready, unready with me. You know, I'm not taking my lashes off because those individuals, but I will take like the rest of my makeup off and my wig and stuff like that so you guys can see. But this is like a really good product. I like stuff that makes my face clean and bright. Yes, this was also from Oxley and I do like it. So I liked everything that I got except for that one perfume that I really, the lipsticks were a little bit too dark for me. But I will link all of the information for everything down below. I do apologize that this video was so long, but you know, definitely if you want to buy anything, you definitely have to check out Glownista because I'm saying, honeys, am I glowing or what? Bye.